movie Happy Gilmore. Happy converts his hockey swing into a golf swing to get insane distance off the tee. Pummeling his drives over 400 yards. But does this actually work? Is it a Hollywood trick? Or could someone actually get extra distance off the tee hitting like Happy Gilmore? To find out, we brought in the only person who was willing to try such a bizarre swing. A golfer who also happens to be the 2008 PGA Player of the Year, Padraig Carrington. In 2008, this Irishman won two majors, the British Open and the PGA Championship. Like Podrick, every professional golfer on the planet hits a tee shot the same way, standing still. But surprisingly, there's nothing in the rules that prohibits a golfer from running up to the ball. It's perfectly legal to use the Happy Gilmore swing on the golf course. There's, there's nothing stopping you running up. But hitting a driver is hard enough when you're standing still. Even pro golfers only hit the fairway 60% of the time. You're trying to make a square inch sweet spot at the end of a four foot long stick traveling 100 miles an hour, make contact with a target smaller than a dime. So that kind of precision on the run is actually next to impossible. Podrick's not exactly short off the tee. His normal drives average 296 yards. But the idea of getting extra distance off the tee, like Happy, is tempting, even for a pro like Padraig Harrington. The bigger a hitter you are, it is an advantage. The best player in the world always tends to be the longest hitter in the world or, or close to it. He always has a length advantage. So could a successful Happy Gilmore swing generate more distance off the tee? and help a pro like Podrick win more tournaments? And if so, shouldn't golfers around the world rethink the way they hit golf shots? It's time to take the shackles off of golf and see if Podrick can hit a golf ball while running. totally smokes his happy Gilmore drive. And he doesn't just take a step into the ball like happy. He gets a full-on running start. Well, I noticed that both my feet left the ground at one point. So I was airborne. At first glance, the two driving styles look radically different. But a side-by-side -side comparison on the Phantom high-speed footage is mind-blowing. Incredibly, even with a running start, Podrick's club position at the top of the backswing and at impact are virtually identical. So it looks amazing, but did Podrick's unconventional swing actually crank out longer drives? In fact, Using a happy Gilmore swing, Podrick actually does drive the ball much farther. On average, 30 yards farther. Our motion capture technology reveals exactly how Podrick gets happy. Podrick attacks the ball at four miles an hour. This forward momentum helps increase club head speed from his normal 107 
up to 114 miles an hour. More importantly, his run-up enables him to make a huge shoulder turn. And this is one key to extra distance. Pros call it the X Factor. That's how much you stretch your hip away from your shoulder in the downswing. And because I plant a little bit like a javelin thrower in my Happy Gilmore, I get a much better stretch. And then my left hip stops much quicker so that I get that acceleration. Podrick's increased shoulder turn means that he can hit his Happy Gilmore drives a full 10% farther than his normal drives. And those extra yards off the tee can mean a big difference on the next shot. If you're approaching the green from 30 yards closer, you're hitting less club, and you've got a better chance of sticking that ball near the hole. So why doesn't Podrick use this crazy swing on the golf course? It comes down to consistency and accuracy. I don't believe I'd be as accurate. Uh, and would the gain of, you know, 20, 30 yards be, be worth it? Because added distance can also mean added distance the wrong way. At impact, a club face that is twisted only one degree offline or makes contact a couple of millimeters away from the sweet spot can result in a drive that travels 20 yards offline. I'd like to do it on the golf course, but I'm too cautious for that. Ultimately, in a sport where millions of dollars could come down to one or two strokes, the risk isn't worth the reward. But for the rest of us, since we all pretty much stink anyway, even Podrick recommends we try it. Well, if you're going to try the Happy Gilmore, and I think you should try it, don't think too much about it and just give it a good hit.